Hello everyone, welcome to the Plug in India Electric Weekly Show, the show where we discuss the happenings in the Indian electric vehicle scene. We also have an audio version of this show. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and Spotify. The audio version of the show can be found in both English and Hindi. So, let's get started. This is episode 4. It's time for electric trucking. Infra Prime Logistics Technologies, a startup focusing on construction logistics, is planning to roll out 1000 electric trucks on India's roads. These are heavy duty electric trucks and the company has been testing their techno financial viability for over a year now. But with the successful commercial run of its 55 metric ton fleet, the company has decided that it's time to roll out its larger fleet. To give you more information, IPL Tech Electric is an Indian startup founded by Sid Das, Subodh Yadav and Chetan Singhal. IPL Tech Electric is the first company in the world to have heavy duty electric vehicles in commercial operation for clients like ACC in the Delhi NCR region. The test commercial run demonstrated up to 60% savings in operating cost over conventional diesel trucks. The company has commercially launched the Rhino 5536, a pure electric truck with 55 metric tons as the gross vehicle weight multiple clients who are running the electric truck in the pilot program are very happy that the truck is giving four times the margin of a diesel truck the truck is designed and developed in india it has an air conditioned lithium iron phosphate battery with a warranty of 7 years and it has a 160 kilowatt hour charger that can charge the battery pack from 0 to 100% in 90 minutes There are several variants of the truck. One variant can carry 28 metric tons and the other variant can carry 55 metric ton. The range is about from 120 km to 240 km and the price ranges from about 70 lakhs to 95 lakhs. Besides these points, what sets these trucks apart is that they have clutchless automatic transmission. They also require less maintenance and are more reliable compared to diesel trucks. Finally, they have a cooler cabin temperature and are a lot more comfortable for drivers. The company has raised investments from German VC fund Fundamental AG and entrepreneur led fund Leo Capital. Also, Tube Investments has backed the company in its seed round. A fleet of 12 electric trucks is already on the road. 1000 electric trucks will soon be on the roads in the Delhi NCR region. and will be added to clan fa- fleets in a phased manner all right so this is really impressive work by iplt in a short span of time they have not only developed an electric truck they've also done a pilot program and are now ready to launch we feel that this company has already done a lot for the electric truck segment because companies like daimler and tesla have announced electric trucks but they are nowhere close to launching them the fact that an indian company has managed to achieve this is absolutely remarkable and we are really proud of their achievement secondly the choice of a lithium iron phosphate battery is very good for india and the fact that they use sophisticated battery cooling technology that keeps the battery at a constant temperature of 35 degrees celsius is really impressive in construction industries ports and highways in india there are about 400000 diesel trucks so there is huge scope for iplt to capture the market and we are very interested in seeing which direction this company goes in the future we have written to them and if we get a positive reply we'll be very excited to visit the company headquarters meet the people in charge and find out how these trucks are made we wish this company all the success coming to the next news item the state run eesl that is the energy efficiency services limited has awarded a contract to the okaya power group to deploy 1020 electric vehicle charging stations pan india this contract was funded by the world bank to elaborate okaya will take care of supply installation and commissioning of the 1020 multi standard ev charging stations with ccs Chadamo and Bharat specification protocols across India. Okaya will deploy the state of the art EV charging stations across the country. 
these EV chargers are compatible with all internationally accepted standards. The three connectors and standards used by the Okaya chargers will be CCS, CHAdeMO and GB slash T. The combined charging system or CCS is a standard for charging electric vehicles. It uses combo 1 and combo 2 connectors to provide power at up to 350 kilowatts. The two connectors are extensions of the type 2 connector with additional DC contacts to allow high power DC fast charging. Multiple electric cars launched in India like the Hyundai Kona, Tata Nexon EV and MG ZS EV all use the CCS connector. Then a few electric cars have low voltage system such as the Mahindra e Verito and the Tata Tigo EV. They use the Bharat specification based on the GBT connector. Unfortunately, there are no cars in India that use the CHAdeMO standard. The CHAdeMO standard is typically used by Japanese companies. If companies like Honda and Nissan launch their electric vehicles here, then we expect to see the CHAdeMO standard being used. Okaya Power Group is one of India's largest manufacturers and suppliers of lead-acid batteries lithium-ion batteries and electric vehicle charging stations. The Bat Ray electric scooter which we tested recently and whose video you might have seen uses the lithium iron phosphate battery made by Okaya. In addition to Okaya's 1000 electric vehicle charging stations, Tata Power Group is also installing 600 electric vehicle charging stations and there are multiple organizations that are also installing electric vehicle charging stations. So, within a year's time, multiple roads and highways in India should be electrified. Therefore, there should be no excuse for any person to not want to buy an electric vehicle because of range anxiety. So, you should soon be seeing a lot of these electric vehicle charging stations cropping up all around you. While we are happy to see these powerful DC fast charging stations being installed, we do hope that Okaya will also install low power electric vehicle charging stations that electric scooters and electric rickshaws can use to charge as well. We look forward to seeing these Okaya charging stations on the road soon. Alright, moving on to the next news item, we've recently found out that the Power Ministry of India has allowed individuals and businesses to set up electric vehicle charging stations without applying for a license. This will give a further boost to electric vehicles by opening up the playing field and giving more options for electric vehicle charging. The new guidelines state that charging infrastructure at home or the office can now be installed without a license and any individual who wants to do so will be helped by the distribution company in the process. The power minister R.K. Singh said and I quote, We have tried to address the concerns of EV owners in the new guidelines. He also said that an individual or business should simply apply for connectivity and the distribution company is bound to provide connectivity. This news comes at a time when corporations like state-run companies, ride-hailing firms, power utility companies and auto giants like Mahindra and Tata Motors are rushing in to set up charging stations. So it might interest you to know that a few years back it was not possible to set up electric vehicle charging stations for just anybody because it was actually illegal to sell electricity. Then the government made amendments to the Electricity Act of 2003 to allow anyone to set up electric vehicle charging stations. The removal of re license requirements has made it very easy for anyone who wants to set up an electric vehicle charging station to do so. Any business or individual can now set up an electric vehicle charging station. However, we do have a couple of suggestions. First, we need standardized discounted electricity rates from discoms, especially for EV charging. Second, businesses should be able to cap the rate at which EV owners are charged. Once these regulations are in place, we believe we will see EV charging stations at every street corner, just like how prepaid mobile SIMs replaced STD and ISD boots in the 90s. Alright, moving on to the next news item. The IOCL, the Indian Oil Corporation Limited, has recently completed a proof of project concept to study electric vehicle charging and zero emissions electric mobility at one of their fuel stations in Bangalore. 
to elaborate when electricity is generated using renewable energy sources and the generated electricity is used to charge electric vehicle batteries then this is called true zero emissions electric mobility for this project iocl has used technology from higer energy a startup incubated by tech mahindra this technology enables intelligent ev charging using hybrid microgrids created by integrating existing grid infrastructure with solar pv batteries vigyan kumar executive director retail sales of indian oil said and i quote given the challenges of grid capacity and reliability amid the uncertainty of ev adoption we are committed to finding an integrated solution to ensure green power for ev charging at our fuel stations this innovative solution developed by higa energy has demonstrated feasibility to address these issues we will conduct pilot studies at more fuel stations across bangalore this solution is unique as it leverages the existing investment made by us in solarizing our fuel stations and gives us a good basis to roll out our ev charging initiative and quote so finally big oil seems to be accepting that electric mobility is here to stay and in a few years time a lot of their products are going to become obsolete this is why companies like iocl has started investing in energy storage applications and electric vehicle charging applications in the past we've seen oil companies buying up innovative and promising electric vehicle charging startups and killing them off but times are changing now iocl for example has invested in a company called finergy which is based in israel and is focusing on developing aluminium air battery manufacturing facilities in india this facility will focus on electric vehicles and stationary applications so as you can see times have indeed changed a great deal iocl seems to be going all in on renewable energy they have also set up a renewable energy power plant that generated 393 million units of power in 2020 seeing as a lot of these locations already have solar energy why not invest a little bit more money and offer ev charging as well we look forward to seeing iocl set up a pan india ev charging infrastructure that uses clean energy all right with that we come to the end of this week's show if you have any questions about electric trucks or about electric charging then please let us know in the comments we'd love to hear from you you can write to us at support@pluginindia.com you can also find us on twitter instagram and facebook we are cell phone and not a part of any large media organization if you like our content do consider supporting us by becoming a patreon or by becoming a youtube channel member this helps us pay for our staff and for our bandwidth you can also support us for free by recommending us to your friends and families or writing a review every little bit helps finally do subscribe to our podcast on apple podcast google podcast and spotify thanks for watching goodbye